Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com. And how many times have you heard that you cannot blow out the background with a kit lens? Something like an 18 to 55, people say, I cannot get great bokeh, or I can't get that nice out of focus area because I have a kit lens. Well, it's not true. And I'm here to show you how you can do it even with this 18 to 55 kit lens. It's all about the combination of three things, distance to your subject, focal length, and your aperture. If you get those three things right, or you pay attention to them, you can blow out the background even with the kit lens. So the first thing that I have to say is you wanna fill the frame as much as possible, which means zoom out to the longest focal length that the lens has in this case, it's 55 millimeters. I want to fill the frame as much as possible because that's gonna compress the background more. We get closer, we're gonna focus on Maria here, and the background should blow out better. So let's take a picture right now and see how we do zoomed out. Boom, we get that shot and we can see that the background is blown out. There's out of focus areas. Now sure, this area may seem a little distracting, but this is just for showing you guys tests for how this works. I don't think it's that bad when you look at the picture because that railing isn't really bothering me because we've separated Maria from the background in this case using the 18 to 55 kit lens. Now some of the mistakes that some people may make is they may shoot say at F16 or let's go to F14 and take the same photo. And in this case, the railing is more prevalent. It's there. So even though we got closer and we zoomed out, if your aperture is wrong, you're not giving yourself the ability to blow out the background. So the moral of the story here is follow those three quick tips. Zoom all the way out on your kit lens, no matter what it is. Drop it to the lowest aperture that you can get. In this case, it's 5.6 and get closer to your subject. That is how you're gonna blow out the background using something as simple as a kit lens. So there you have it. That's another quick tip. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. So if you're looking to get out of auto, I have the perfect thing for you. It's the Fronos Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto. It's three hours of education that's gonna explain to you exactly how the exposure triangle works to make it simple so that you can go out and get fantastic pictures right now with whatever camera that you have. Go ahead, click up on the screen, take you over to a free preview of the Fronos Photo Guide to Getting Out of Auto.